Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. Our first system is moving through right now. So overnight tonight, Friday morning, we're going to have a decent shot of rain. There's probably going to be a break behind that and we could actually see some sunshine during the day on Friday. So our first system moves through. Snow levels at this time are going to be around 5,000 feet. They're going to be rising though through the weekend. What that means is even though the mountains have a chance of getting some wet snow accumulation, it's a possibility a lot of this uh, snow could be turning over to rain into the weekend as our snow levels are going to continue to uh, rise as this next in a series of systems moves through. Now again, if you love rain, you're probably going to love this forecast, especially along the coast as we have temperatures in the 40s and 50s overnight tonight. Unfortunately, with the rain, we also have some windy conditions and because of that, National Weather Service has put out a high wind warning in effect overnight tonight through 1 a.m. on Friday. And we're looking at the possibility of some wind gusts and uh, anywhere from 40 to 55 miles per hour out of the south and southeast. Again, the rain may be heavy at times overnight into early tomorrow morning. Then we may get a break with those temperatures in the 50s for highs to possibly around 60. And when I say break, we may actually see some sunshine during the day. There are more systems, though, moving in Friday night right into the weekend. For the West Valleys, lows will be in the 30s and 40s. Rain moving in overnight and the wind kicking up down towards the southern parts of Shasta County there in the Shasta Valley out of the south southeast from 10 to 35 miles per hour, especially down towards weed. However, some of these winds are going to be moving into Jackson County, especially down towards the Ashland area where we could have some gusty south and southeast winds right through tonight. The rain turns over to showers, especially Friday morning, and then we could see clouds mixing in with sunshine during the day. Your highs will be in the 40s and 50s overall. East of the Cascades, your temperatures in the 30s to around 40. There's a chance for rain in the valleys. However, you get up towards Shemalton Crater Lake, there's a potential for some wet snow and rain overnight. Several inches of snow is possible around Crater Lake. Out towards Shemalt, anywhere from a light coating to maybe a few inches will be possible late tonight into tomorrow morning. Then things taper off, we get a little break, and we may see some sunshine mixing it with the clouds. Your highs generally in the 40s, a little bit cooler up towards Crater Lake. Again, the weather pattern stays active here, as you can see in the seven day. Mainly morning areas of rain, we get the break, and then more chances for rain late Friday night into Saturday. Another good chance on Sunday. I put in a slight chance on Monday. After that, it looks like we dry out highs in the 50s, lows in the 30s and 40s. Klamath Basin, you have highs generally in the 40s to around 50. Mainly the best chance for rain will be in the morning on Friday. More chances for rain Saturday and Sunday. There will be breaks in between here. Temperatures will be in the 40s to around 50 and some cool starts 20s and 30s. We start to dry out though into next week. And for Northern California, Mount Shasta City, a good chance for rain Friday. Also into Saturday, there will be breaks in between. Your temperatures will be in the 40s and 50s for highs and lows generally in the 30s to around 40. We start to dry out next week for the coast. From now right through Sunday, there's a potential for anywhere from one to five inches of rain here and rain will be likely again Friday night and Saturday tapering off on Friday. Another good chance on Sunday, a slight chance on Monday. Highs in the 50s and 60s, so we dry out after that. Your lows will generally be in the 40s and 50s.